Hello, my name is Lena Atutoa, and I'm the assessment coordinator at Inglewood Unified School District, which is a small district in Southern California. This video is about overall planning. In our school district, we utilize the CASP interim assessment blocks throughout the school year. Over the summer, we assemble an assessment calendar committee to choose specific interim assessments and plan the times of years when these district mandated assessments will be administered based on their alignment with the core curriculum. These assessments are arranged in an assessment calendar that provides a year at a glance overview. This is messaged by our chief academic officer at the beginning of the school year in an assessment memo. At the beginning of the school year, we also identify our site test coordinators. We have about one test coordinator for each school site. The site test coordinators receive one all day training prior to the start of the school year. This provides them with an overview of the CASP interim and summative assessments and their roles for each of those assessments. In addition to this first meeting, they also meet with the district coordinator on the first Friday of each month. At the first meeting, they receive a year long planner that shows month by month what will be covered at each of the test coordinator meetings. We also have our test coordinators at this time of the year fill out a Google sheet with the name and email information for every teacher at that school site. This is used to upload the CASP rules for TOMS for the year. The district test coordinator sends an email to all teachers notifying them that number one, their new role has been created, number two, the process for confirming that role, and three, what the responsibilities are that are attached to that role. This is how we get our school year kicked off. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this information timely and useful.